haven't actually done like a video diary of something like this before so why not start now today i am having a flexible sigmoidoscopy i've actually had one before i've had one colonoscopy and i've had one sigmoidoscopy so this will be my second sigmoid which is fun to add to the list i'm actually really late so i was gonna do more of this chatting bit before the procedure but might have to film that afterwards because i am late as usual wish me luck and i'm gonna try and film as much as i can if you haven't had one before i guess it could be a little bit scary i have had one before so i know the kind of the unpleasant trees but it's also it's not as bad as a colonoscopy it doesn't last as long it doesn't go as far up so you know trying to think of the positives but yeah follow me and we'll uh go get our our looking on looking into my insides yeah wish me luck i don't want to do it so i'm on my way just walking there because you know i wasn't late enough as it is i'm now gonna walk for those of you who don't know the procedure that i'm gonna have done so a flexible sigmoid is um a procedure that they put a little camera they have a look at the lower bowel i think instead of like all the way probably gonna get, take a couple of biopsies and i'm just gonna see the reason i'm having to have this is because my latest stool sample said there was inflammation oh my god i'm out of breath i am walking up a hill but it's not that steep this is really embarrassing all right well there's a lot of people looking at me so i'll probably continue this when i get there all right So I am inside the hospital waiting for my sister, who is later than me, which is not ideal. I'm just about to go upstairs, do the whole prep bit. We have to fill in some form. Feeling a bit nervous, I'll be honest. I don't really like the whole getting naked, knees up to your chin, bum exposure thing. Probably not say that so loudly, but yeah, it is what it is. I guess the main thing, obviously, I guess actually deep down I'm probably a little bit nervous about the fact, more than the procedure itself, but what they might find. When I had my blood test before Christmas, this is after coming off azathioprine, my bloods came back amazing, better than normal, which was so great because all I've been doing was managing my Crohn's kind of holistically, I don't know if that's the right word, but... Uh, by having mostly a plant-based diet and having acupuncture and stuff like that. But then uh, after Christmas, I had to go back and do some stool samples, God knows why, and they actually revealed quite high levels of inflammation in uh, my gut, which is why I have to have the sigmoidoscopy today, just so they can have a little look and see what's going on. I think what I'm scared about, if I'm honest, is that they will reveal that actually there is quite a lot of stuff still going on inside um, and then they'll push for me to go back on medications such as azathioprine which I obviously really really do not want to do um, because there's a reason I came off of it but you never know fingers crossed we will see what happens it's got these fetching socks <laughs> these nice shorts and I'm going to get put on you need to take off your jumper Oh my god. I know I need to take off my jumper. That's stupid. I've just had the enema administered and now I have to wait um, until I feel the need to go, which is pretty much now. It was not unpleasant. It was very quick. I mean, it wasn't pleasant, but it was very quick. The guy was really funny, which is obviously what you want uh, for someone squeezing a tube of liquid in your bum. Cool. What are you doing? I have to stay like this until I need to go. So, shush, I'm talking. The first enema didn't work. Um, I waited for ages, nothing came out, just liquid. So now I have to have another one, which I can't wait for. I've just had the second enema done because the first one didn't work. The, if you haven't had one before, I'd describe the feeling as severe trapped wind and like a really bad period cramp and the kind of sensation when you're absolutely desperate for the toilet but you can't go that's what i'm dealing with right now so oh i've got a vein on my forehead like monica the vein so yeah i have to wait on my side until i can wait no longer that's the advice so let's see how long i can wait Be close to 
Thanks for the thing. I am currently shaking because I'm in so much pain and I'm trying so hard to hold this in as long as possible. I got goosebumps because I am in so much pain and I don't know how much longer I can wait. So I'm in recovery. Um, I feel pretty gross, but I think it all went okay. Um, I can get changed now, which is good. And yeah, hopefully get stuff like this taken off my arm. It hurts, but I'll see you in a bit. How are you feeling? I'm feeling tired. I'm feeling. Mm -hmm. Punch it up. You know, I want a burger, vegan burger, bitter burger. But on the plus side, I would recommend the Emmys because you get so many biscuits. <laughs> I have made it home. Um, it's now six o'clock and I left my house at 12 o'clock so it's been a quite a long day. Everything went okay. They showed me some pictures afterwards um, just of where the inflammation was and they took six biopsies. Some were for research um, but the others one were to have a look to see what's going on. Didn't really tell me much as I left, just that kind of I'd get a letter with the results in a couple of weeks. The procedure itself, after I had the two enemas, which was so painful, when the second one was administered, my body just went into kind of shock and severe irritation. I was like sweating, I had goosebumps. I thought I was gonna faint, I thought I was gonna be sick. It was really, really, really unpleasant. I was in a whole world of pain and I said to the guy who came in to check on me, I was like, I feel like you've induced a flare up. I haven't felt this kind of pain in a long, long time. And I was not in a good way, but he managed to calm me down. We were able to go through the procedure. I had the sedation. I mean, I don't really ever feel that different with the sedation, just a little bit more kind of tired, but I think I'd rather have it than not have it. Yeah, the actual procedure was fine, they're all really nice. And then I was in recovery for quite a long time afterwards, I think just because of how I was before I'd gone in. Um, and I kind of kept drifting in and out of being not very with it. But everyone was really nice, looked after me. And then I was released, had some coffee, as you probably saw, and some biscuits. And then yeah, I was able to come home. So now I'm obviously gonna treat myself to some nice, vegan fast food dinner courtesy of Wicked and if I can get my hand my all time favourites blue M&M's just solve everything I love them I love them so much so yeah I hope this was relatively interesting or insightful um, I've never really done one of these before because I'm a little bit embarrassed filming in public I mean I know me embarrassed I'm going to have a nice evening in with some candles and probably watching Queer Eye because I love that show. But yeah, thanks for watching and I'll probably do another video soon when I have rested my bum. Or when I don't look like a pin cushion. Look at this. Look like um, tampons stuck to my arm. Talking of tampons, nice interesting. I had a guy um, do both enemas, I think his name was Paul, he was such a babe, such a nice guy. And the first time, I mean, it's embarrassing, let's not be kind of whatever about it, you know, you're wearing paper shorts that kind of open at the back. He kind of explained like, oh, I'm gonna put a little gel on my finger and then put it in, and then I'll administer it then around. I was like, just do it, like, please just do it because I really don't wanna talk about the procedure, let's just do it. I mean, he did it and he kind of, he couldn't find, he thought I put the shorts on back to front because he couldn't find the opening. I was like, Christ, those a good start. I just heard him kind of lean over and go, I'm just gonna, uh, I'm just gonna move a tampon string out the way. My God. Honestly, how I have any dignity left is beyond me, but doesn't kill you, makes you stronger or leaves you with some horrific memories. Yeah, have a lovely evening and I'll catch up with you guys soon. Bye. Thanks. <laughs>